hi guys welcome to my youtube channel it's an x so today we're going to be talking about glass morphism okay well first of all let me just walk you through the general idea of glass morphism it's really 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 simple just grab the concepts then you can make it i like can replicate it as you want anywhere anyhow you want it now the concept behind glass morphism is having a background blur on an object um, giving the impression of a frosted look contrary to mimorphism that just just have a um, series of um, layer glass panel floating around in a vertical space so we'll do something related to glass morphism yeah we just we want to create a special menu category the ui it's a ui basically so i have two images here check the link um, on the description you get access to these images so let's just get started so i don't have any content in mind basically i just want to flow i just want to flow well it's going to be really excite exciting so okay i place my image on my artboard i'm going to draw a rectangle yeah fix it to the edge yeah, then fix it to this edge. Now I'll show you a simple trick how you can get morphism. You don't really how you can get glass morphism. Sorry, I I mix my words sometimes. Okay, so it's really easy. The idea is make your opacity hundred, then make your fill opacity fifty. Now look at this. Now we'll apply the background blur. We are using sd yeah I'm sorry by the way i'm using adobe sd yeah so just apply your background blur you can control your opacity your brightness your darkness and stuff like that so let's just leave this thing to let me bring it down i need to bring it back okay. i think this is this is this is good this is good it's 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 happening already the glass morphism is happening already so let's add another layer let's add another layer okay so i have this layer let's make it let's make the, the border radius curve you can do it here just or you just drag this stuff or you set it here okay so you see my dear you make your opacity 100 and your fill opacity will be the same okay you can make you can reduce it as you want but the generic opacity should always be 100 you don't want to touch it so that's that that's the trick okay so i have this Let's make it. Okay, so it's already having a first head look. It's already having a first head look. Let's get some text on it. So I have, I have, I have some text, some words in mind, some write up in mind. One of them is um, delicious food. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so okay, um, I want to do something here. I would like to walk. Uh, I enjoy typography a lot, it's like manipulating typography. You see my design, you know, I like to love typography a lot. So, I'm making use of Avenel Next LT Pro font you can use any font just make sure you can that's why you can control the width of the font so this is healthy healthy food yeah i would like to adjust my light height get them closer you don't want it i don't want it to be too big because um we're going to be putting other content on it <coughs> i'm going to be putting other content on it so it's contrasting and the principle of design is that you don't want your one of the layer to contrast with the other layer it just 
you always want your text to be visible you have to be visible so this should work i don't want it to be black i just i don't want it to be to all black just a shade of black a shade of black should work for me perfectly so this is perfect so next subheading subtitle i mean um for ld light so make it lighter this is why i like when getting font when downloading the font always try to download the family font family so you can get access to different weights it makes your design look really really nice so this is let's just make this one 90 let's make this guy here 60 oh, the bigger 70 mm -hmm. this box this box yeah so let's, let's do something let's lay em let's lay emphasis using line on delicious food yeah i want to express the color the brand color just the um, frictional brand color like this so let's say red but i don't want direct red just a shade of red yeah increase the size the stroke size and that's it okay this works Let's do something here. Let's do something here. Okay, I duplicate. I duplicated it by holding Alt key and dragging down. It's 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 like the same thing for all Adobe software. I think all software, all Adobe software is. I think Alt drag duplicates your layer. So we have this. Take this guy off. Point is starting from you want to do that. I think for farm, try to see it how to see how nice it looks. Okay, my thoughts you want to lay emphasis on the maybe on the other right of the paragraph right up. Let's get our other right up. Make our other right up. Okay. I duplicate by off dragging. Okay. I convert this to paragraph text. So I just click. Just click on this stuff here. Alright. Um, fix size. And this is like auto width. Now here I can control. It automatically becomes a paragraph text for me. So see nice okay i reduce the size i adjust my line spacing to what i want i just say 47 to work nice okay nice So, okay. okay, let's bring this emphasis down to the food writer. Right let's extend this to the heading and the sub. Okay. Then the paragraph text will carry this little Yeah, it's better. It's better. We just want to control the eyes of our, of our user. It's user experience, basically. We, um, hierarchically determine what and what your user should see first when they view your design hmm? yeah it's user experience user experience it's good it's good to, to design like that it's good okay so i think i need more space for I need my design to print so let me just reduce this things together. Let me see the size of the 60. 
you guys should fall under 20. Plus even um, 28. Normally, we are supposed to be working with Style Guide. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be releasing video how you can create a Style Guide for your design. Yeah, so we don't just design blindly. You design with already um, existing, already developed color, typography, spacing, and other stuff. So basically, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to generate an idea. That's why I'm not making use of. The style guide it's looking good, so I just use my picker. Tap on I, I'll just come here, select a picker and select a color. Start using so extend this a little, remove your border. Always remove your border. You want your design to be clean, then remove your border. Try, try, try as much as possible not to make this a border on the, on the layer, on the rectangle layer any layer at all except for a very special reason so let's move this white maybe not that white but close to white okay yeah let's have the right top um new menu new menu button so we're creating a button so yeah, I want it to be white. Okay. Should we make it a medium? Because it's medium. Yeah, nah. Uh, I just send me. Hmm. I think. Look at the table. I think light works well. It works well. So this is this. Then let's create another direction here to something else. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's try something else on that. So there is this when um I was studying the principle of design and I came across um, a principle that says when the title should be half your heading, your title should be your subtitle should be half the size of the original title. So let's do that here. So let me make this bold, this light, and the size of this is 47. I have to divide it here for 7, 5 by 2. Mm -hmm. I'm going to size it. No? It looks good. Mm -hmm. I could bring it. Oh, bring it over like that. Mm -hmm. There isn't it. I want oh, something new. But sometimes, you know, we need to break principle to create masterpiece. Actually, we need to. But principle works when you want to have a very you want to have a very standard design and when you're working on a standard design and you don't just want to um you want to follow guideline so you need to use your principle it's necessary this is looking at this design alone i'm making use of several principles here Making use of alignment, the principle of alignment, the principle of contrast. Yeah. So make use of the principle, please. I'm going to be releasing videos about those principles, explaining how you can create a masterpiece design, following your following principles, like explaining principles one at a time. So as I see this, give it red. Increase the thickness. The weight of our stroke here, give that same red. So,
Gas fast. Let's do this book. Quickly, very quickly. Now we get this front. Put it around the side. Nice. Okay, wow. So our image, our foot image. We just drop it here. It's a little bit here. So not yet. I'm gonna be giving the image a shadow, the drop down shadow. You leave it your know, Y and X and Y axis depending on where you want your shadow to float to the y axis it's up and down the x axis it's horizontally y axis vertically x axis horizontally so you how determine how blurry it should be to give it that um, um overflowing look uh, yeah okay so it works so let's lock this two layer control L should lock it and the so just come to your layer and lock it. Just come to your layer. Sorry, let me move my image. Just come to your layer down here. Your layer here. I'll lock it. Look at this. Lock. It's just that's that. So so moving on, I think that is all for now. Let's give our um, first edge, our rectangle layer, the shadow. That is the top layer. This the shadow. Now, mind, mind you, when giving a layer a shadow, remember your your opacity. There is there is an opacity on the original layer. So when giving the shadow, it's definitely gonna affect it because shadow comes from the down now watch when i increase the opacity of my shadow it affects that layer because black is being added to that layer and remember there is opacity there so definitely it's gonna affect it so i'm just pointing that out so when you're giving shadow to your layer just mind that so you don't make it messy and all that so so this is okay is what we have so thank you for joining me on my youtube channel remember to subscribe see you next time bye